Welcome to Creative Bath Lab. Hello everyone. Today I'm showing you how to make a lovely bath tea in soak. It's my new take on bath tea and I think you'll really enjoy it. This bath tea is comprised of five elements, scented bath salts, decorative salts, bath pearls, bath soak, and bath tea. Each bottle has its own tea bag, so there isn't a mess in the tub. Pictures really don't show it, but it's gorgeous in person. This bath tea is beautiful and provides a relaxing bath soak with scented and colored water. That's always fun. It's perfect for gifts too. Start with the bath soak as it's the only one that needs to dry. Melatonin comes in capsules that are easy to open. It takes about 25 capsules to equal one tablespoon. Melatonin is usually taken orally, however, there are relaxing effects of bathing in it as well. I got this idea from the popular Dr. Teal's Melatonin Epsom Salts and Foaming Bath. The baking soda and citric acid adds a bit of foam to the soak. It's a very loose recipe, meaning you can add ingredients, take out ingredients, or change amounts without a big impact on the final product. I added melted butter and honey and other stuff in the first batch I made, but it seemed like it wasn't fully drying. Make sure everything is evenly mixed. I dried mine overnight. You don't have to add the salt, but without the salt, the soak would be dense and kind of clumpy. I added one tablespoon of elderberries just to give the soak a little bit of granular flair. For the bath tea bag, choose elements that play into your theme. This is a relaxing bath tea, so I chose the following. For more awesome tutorials and to show my small channel some love, subscribe now. It looks a lot better if you add the elements in layers. added too much color, so I took some out. Spray alcohol to loosen color and to make it spread evenly. Mix the salt until the color is completely even. Always use a base to scent the salts so they remain clump free. For more information on scenting bath salts, click the information icon. Mix the base and the fragrance together well. Make sure the salts are evenly coated. I also added some dry flower petals just to jazz it up a bit. Mm -hmm. 
The decorative salt is super easy and quick to make and is used as a decorative layer break in the bottle. Simply color the salt, then coat it with sparkling mica. Oh, aren't they so pretty? And they look gorgeous in the bottle too. Add your tea bag first, then add layers. Pin the tea bag to one side, then pack the layer in to anchor the tea bag in place. Pack each layer well. The bath pearls are used as decoration, but they're also great for skin. They dissolve in warm water and release oil that softens and hydrates skin. Pack the jar well and then fill it all the way to the top. I also printed stickers that when folded in half can be read on both sides. You can just make huge tea bags. Put all the ingredients in a bowl, mix it up, then put it in tea bags. This is a sample practice cup that I made for the jar. I use these to test colors and to see which layers look best together. Fill the bag about two thirds of the way. First up is the tea bag. While the tea bag has the same ingredients, it lacks visual appeal. Seriously, look how gorgeous this is. All the layers and sparkling salts. As you can see, this project is really about presentation. You can follow my recipe exactly but you surely don't have to. This is me just giving you ideas and inspiration to make your own. The jar is 13 ounces and it's for one bath and was perfect for this project. You could use a bigger jar, but I wouldn't recommend anything smaller. The bath tea was really nice and very relaxing. It scented and colored the bath water, plus provided the water with wonderful ingredients like milk, clay, and salt. All are great for skin and all provide a wonderful bath soak. I actually ended up making three batches. This was uh, the first one. I added too much surfactant, like SLSA, and too much color. I felt like the foam, lather, and color were never going to stop. Don't get me wrong, it was really fun and I'll use all the bags that I made. It just wasn't perfect for this project. Check out the description for the recipe, helpful tips, and the supply list at the bottom.